Hey guys, Jamie with the Summer Rain Channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to be making do-it-yourself melt and pour soaps. So these melt and pour soaps are intended to be for like if you're out in the garden and you really need to get a good scrub on your hands or if you're like me and feel free to judge, I like to walk around barefoot in the summer so my feet really need a deeper scrub than just with a regular soap. So the pumice powder in here is gonna be our exfoliator and like a really gritty, it's almost like a sand consistency so it's really gonna get there in your hands and your feet and cleanse. And then I add just a little bit of jojoba beads in here just for a milder scrubbing to go in addition to. I also think they look kind of cute in here. I like the little white specks. So I did put the full recipe on the video. I also put a link to my blog, so I go just a little bit more in depth if you wanna go check that out. If you haven't done so already, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, and this is the one that I made with the white melt and pour, and this is the one that I made with the clear melt and pour. So depending on how you want your final soap to look, um, if you want it more pastel like this, use the white. If you want it more vibrant, go ahead and use the clear melt and pour soap. Let's learn how to make these. So go ahead and grab a microwave safe container and we're gonna pop our melt and pour soap in there. Now you can use either clear or white melt and pour soap, whatever you have on hand. And we're gonna pop this in the microwave until it's fully melted. Um, you wanna put it in there in intervals of like 10 to 15 seconds, give it a good stir in between until it's melted, that way you don't overheat it. Now that our soap's melted, we're gonna add just a bit of mica powder and we will go ahead and give that a good mix. Oftentimes mica powder doesn't want to mix in very well, so you have to come in with just a bit of rubbing alcohol and spray it just to break that surface tension. And then another thing, if you really want an even color, make sure that you're scraping the sides and the bottom of the container. Normally the bottom is the worst spot where you miss pieces of mica powder that don't get mixed in. And I got just a bit on my spatula I'm trying to get off. There we go. And there's no need to rush. Like when you're mixing this, sometimes you might think you're in a big hurry. You have plenty of time to work with this soap before you actually have to pour it. So really take your time, give it a good mix. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our pumice powder. Now this wants to clump up just a little bit on you but it's not hard at all to get it to mix in. And you'll notice right away that it turns to like a gritty sandpaper-like consistency. Like you can feel it when you scrape the edges of the container, the pumice powder. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our lilac fragrance oil. So in my front yard, I have a lilac tree. And when I was like, huh, what am I gonna make this smell like? I was like 100% like lilacs. It smells so good right now. Next, I'm gonna add some jojoba beads. These are completely optional. Like if you don't have them, and if you don't wanna add them, like you don't have to at all. I just like to add just a little bit of that white pop to this lilac color. And we will mix those in there really good. <laughs> it sounds so funny when you scrape the edges. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pour it into our mold. And to pop any bubbles on the top, just spray it with a bit of rubbing alcohol. And we're gonna let this cool completely. Now that we've allowed this to cool completely, we're gonna go ahead and remove it from the mold. I always start by pulling apart at the edges. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy making your own melt and pour soap. And again, if you haven't done so already, be sure you hit that subscribe button. Bye.